Hello everybody and welcome back to another Code and Chat with Zach. Today we're going to be looking at configuring a network that includes two routers, a switch in each side, as you see here, and two devices. So we have quite a bit of work and so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is set up our connections. So from the PC to the switch, we will use the cable straight through. So we'll go from the zero to two. And this ordering is kind of up to you, however you like it. And also from here, our switch to our router. Now notice I did use the 2621XM, kind of my personal favorite. However, you can use any router. Now we will be establishing a serial connection between the two routers, and so we do have to make a couple of quick modifications. So let's set up the other side real quick as well. And there we go. Oops. Now the next thing we need to do is set these up for serial, which means we need to add a component. So we do that by clicking here, going to our physical device view, turning off the switch, and we want this WIC1T. And we'll just drag it over there and turn it on, and do the same thing over here. Okay, great. Now, if you look at these, notice we do have a serial connection as well. Now we will take the automatically choose. We'll go from here to here and it automatically chooses serial which is what we were looking for. Now you can set this up with gigabit or fast uh, ethernet as well. Typically when you see it you will see it with a serial connection. So notice we have green here and that shows that we have connections. Here we have all red. So the next thing we need to do is set up our networks. Now remember that a router separates networks. So we have three networks. One, two, and three. Now if you've been following along, we've made a similar uh, network with this, not including the switch. And so this is just a little bit of a variation and does have a little bit of uh, more involved. The next thing we need to do is set up our network addressing scheme. So I've already set this here and we are going to set this first network as 192.168.1.0. We will use a slash 24 which is the CIDR slash 24 which gives us a network mask of 255.255.255.0. So as our first connection, we will establish the fast Ethernet as 192.168.1.1. Our switch here, which is our first one, we will go with 192.168.1.2. The next 192.168.1.3. Next, 192.168.1.4, and then our PCs will be 192.168, 1 1.5, and 1 1.6. Okay, so now we have this network here established. Now, the next one we need to do is here, and we can do that. And that will be 192. Oops, 192.168.2.0 network and we will make this a slash 30 which is the net mass 255, 255, 255, 252 giving us only two usable IP address and that will be on router 1 serial 00 which is right here 192.168.2.0 2.1 and on router 2 serial 0 slash 0 which is right here 192.168.2.2 2 
And finally, we have the third. Now, like on the other side, we will establish our network, 192, 168. Now, this will be the 3.0 network, slash 24. And that's the net mask of 255, 255, 255, 0. Now, we need to set our IP. And to avoid spewing a bunch of numbers, I will just type these in quickly. Notice this is the 3 network. And finally, our last network of 3.6. Okay, great. Now, the next thing we need to do is go into our command line. So we do that by clicking our router, going to the CLI. Remember, we just simply tell it, no, we don't want to configuration dialog. And then we will type EN for enable config T to get us into global config mode and now we can start to set up our router. First thing we need to do of course is hostname R1. Notice that changes right there. Next we'll go into interface F00 right here. That has an IP address of 192.168.1.1 1 1 with the net mask of 255, 255, 255, 0. Next thing we need to do is type no shut. Make sure that that says state to up. And notice we now have a green light. Exit one time. Now we will set up our serial which is S00. The IP address will be 192.168.2.1. And remember, this network mask is 252. The last uh, octet is 252. Now, also, since it's serial, we do have the clock on this side, so we can set the clock rate real quick. And we'll set it to 128,000. All right, good to go. And finally, no shut. Now, notice the color did not change, and that's because this other connection has to be set up real quick. So we'll go to router 2, tell it no, and config t, host name r2 for router 2. And now we will do interface f zero zero and that gives us an IP address of 192.168.3.1 oops I forgot the net mask and remember this is a zero no shut that one came up now we need to do the serial exit out one time Oops, serial and IP address 192.168.2.2.255.255.255.252. Now, this side does not have the clock, so we don't have to worry about that, and we can go ahead and say no shut there as well. Now, all of our lights are green, that's a great sign. The next thing we need to do is set up our end devices. We can do that by clicking on it, going to desktop, configure, and 192.168.1 PC0 is dot five. The net mask we can leave the same, and for our default gateway, remember that is this router fast uh, Ethernet connection 192.168.1.1. Come over here, do the same thing. 
192, 168, 1.6, 192.168, 1.1. Okay, so notice if we use our pinging tool here, briefly, our PDU, and we go from here to here, we have successful. We can also go from here to here successfully. However, if we go from here to here, it fails, and we'll go over that in a moment. The other thing that you have to be aware of is that you cannot go on devices that have not been set up. So let's go ahead and set this side up real quick. Again, following the same, oops, 192, 168, 3.5. Three dot one is our gateway, which is this connection. Three dot six and the gateway on this. Again, we can do a test, go from here to here. Uh, let's delete that. Go from here to here. Excellent. From here to here. Excellent. From here to here. Not excellent. And that failed. And the reason that failed is this network does not know how to get to this network. And so the next thing we need to do is configure our IP route. So we'll come back here. We will go to exit out of that so that we're in global config mode. And we will do IP route, and we are trying to get to this network. So that is the 192.168.3.0 network. We put in our net mask, and finally we have to tell it how to get there. And we get there by connecting to this serial port, 192.168.2.2. Hit enter. And oops, now we'll come over here and do the same thing for this network. Okay, and finally we do IP route 192, 1.0 network. We put the mask, and we get to that by doing 2.1. All right, so now we should be able to ping all the way across the network from any device. Uh oh, there it goes. Sometimes when you are setting a new path, it will fail the first time. And of course, you can also go into command prompt, type in ping. 192.168.1.6, which will be our PC1, and notice we do have. Now, new to this video, um, we're going to show you how to save real quick. You can go ahead and hit end, and then you will write copy, run, start. It will ask you for the destination file, and you can just hit enter, and this saves your router. Uh, configuration in case um, you lose that on shutdown. So then once again type end, copy, run, start, and that's it. Well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions leave them in the comment box. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Happy coding and we'll see you next time.